Hello and welcome to For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewer's Comments. I'm just going to say a few brief things before we begin. Number one, when you choose to comment on my YouTube channel, there are terms and conditions, there are rules that you must follow. It's my house. I expect you to follow the rules. If you don't, your comment probably will not be published. Also, I ask that you be honorable and graceful, i.e. respectful of everyone here. Please don't go around telling people what they should or shouldn't do. And if you come here making claims, making claims about this or that or the third or something that's happened to you or whatever having to do with grammar or courts or whatever, you better be able to certify your correct sentence structure knowledge because this is a correct sentence structure channel and I am going to call you to the carpet on it if you start making claims about something that you perhaps don't know what you're talking about. It's very important for the safety of the vessel. If you have closure on correct sentence structure, you should be able to provide that proof like that on the spot. So keep that in mind. The energy you bring here, I will return. I will balance it out with rule one, rule equal. So without further ado, let's get to the comments. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. In this edition of For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewer's Comments, I'm going to add a couple things to it. Uh, not only am I going to take a look at some of your comments, criticisms, and compliments, and questions, I'm also going to take a look at, uh, you know, just a little sample of emails that I get from people that just give you an idea of some of the mental conditions of state that people possess um, navigating through the now space and how that pertains to me and how I look at things. You'll get the gist of what I'm saying when you see the email. And also I'll be looking at something that I brought up time and time again about contract and how contract is consent and how that relates to uh, social media agreements, mortgages, and things like that. So without further ado, let's get to it. First comment comes from Rober Hardcore Beats. And Rober Hardcore Beats says, I live in Spain and a lot of people is studying this topic. But it's very confused for us to have to translate this knowledge and apply it for our own laws, words, and grammar. Well, Rober Hardcore Beats, one solution would be for you, as you seem to have a rudimentary basic grasp of plain English, to learn correct sentence structure through a plain English speaking tutor such as myself, and then when you get closure on the grammar via that tutor, then you yourself can translate it into Spanish and use correct sentence structure with Spanish. And you could be the forerunner of that. You could be the pioneer of that because I've yet to see uh, someone do that. People ask me all the time, can I do this in German? Can I do this in Spanish? Can I do this in Portuguese? So on and so forth. The answer is yes, you can. You just have to get closure on it via the tools that you have at hand. And as of yet, I have yet to see any Spanish speaking quantum grammar tutor. That's my solution for you. Thank you for the comment. Next comment comes from Jonathan Todd. And he says, I envision that the Continuum Conversations playlist will be highly successful. Much love, fellow grammar enthusiasts. Well, thank you for your envision, Jonathan Todd. I certainly hope that is the case because I do know that people love to hear stories. And when you can put faces behind those stories, then people are more apt to participate and look at those things and perhaps even be inspired and motivated 
uh, to take action on their own behalf to learn this grammar. Next comment comes from The Five Fooder. And they say, Celtic Frost, comma, space, uh, thinking face, I guess. And that is a comment on a video that I did two or three years ago called For the Busy, comma, Busy. And if I remember correctly, it's just a video of me rifling through correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, document, contract, pulse of vessel court venues uh, that I had created. Uh, some of them that I created up to that point and been 100% successful with, by the way. But the music being played over top of that uh, was from a band called Celtic Frost, which I'm not really into that style of music all that much. But I do like Celtic Frost. I've been listening to them since I was probably 18 years old. They are definitely the grandfathers of the Norwegian black metal scene and just some really heavy, uh, powerful music if you're into that sort of thing next comment comes from wyatt hunter and wyatt says trying to have closer on re when you place re in front of a fact it modifies the fact changing the motion of the fact away from the fact am i correct and then i said there were no facts to begin with therefore there are no facts to modify and then he responds back, well, crap, lol, I'll figure it out soon enough. Thank you. I don't mind challenges. And of course, I love that kind of mentality. Just to give you a little bit more closure and clarity on that, Wyatt, there are no, the only way that a fact can exist on paper is if it is positioned with correctness, meaning there's a positional lodial phrase in front of it. If it's a name, like... For example, Jason Matthew Glass, the way to turn to the way to create a fact out of that would be to put the position lodial phrase for the in front of Jason hyphen Matthew and then follow Jason hyphen Matthew with the positional phrase of the glass, period. And then a way to write that in a shorthand would be colon Jason hyphen Matthew colon space glass period that's a name now if you want to turn that into a correct sentence structure and add thinking to it put a verb in it put some cogitation in it you could say for the jason hyphen matthew of the glass is with the correctness by the name period and then backwards that would be for the name of the correctness is with the glass by the Jason hyphen Matthew, period. Cause, concern, verb, possessive authority. Boom, mathematically certified. Thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from someone named Hot Streak. And Hot Streak says, what type of contract was settled due to your syntaxing? Now, ladies and gentlemen, Hot Streak, just to give you a little context behind the comment, left a plethora of comments i mean multiple multiple comments in a very short span of time which i've seen this happen before basically i can guess with logic that he's a newcomer he's new to this he's very excited about it well he or she by the picture i'd have to say he but i don't want to step on anybody's toes but they're very excited about the grammar and they have all these questions I bet they haven't even watched half a dozen of my videos. So my counsel, my suggestions to someone like Hot Streak is to just take a deep breath, sit back, and dig in. There are almost 500, over 500 videos on this channel. And, and as I uh, shared with them in another comment, every single question that Hot Streak asked, and he asked at least half a dozen questions, Every one of them can be answered somewhere on this channel, in the videos, if they would just take the time, take a deep breath, search it out. Or they can contact me at the email address at the bottom of the screen and apply for a workshop, which I did offer to them twice. But of course, they, when I offer that, 
usually people just don't respond to that. They'd rather just try and do it through the comments field, which I make very clear in multiple videos is not really a place for closure. It's not an efficient manner of conveying closure on the internet. It's much easier to convey closure if you're on a video screen, I'm on a video screen, we can see one another and we can speak and communicate back and forth through that trade medium and I can give you closure like that. Much easier than mitigating in a comments field. So when I give Kuliana in a comments field, it's always under the auspices of knowledge cultivation. It's, I'm doing my best to teach someone something in one way, shape, or form. So my Kuliana back to hot streak was this. Please be more specific as I have settled countless contracts, obtained favorable conclusions. Meaning, just as, I sh as uh, the Celtic Frost comment and the other one with, from the five-footer, those were all cases that I settled and I won and was successful with. This is a small portion of them. So all types of contracts, uh, collection agencies, tax entities, military entities, all sorts of entities, bank entities. Also, what do you mean by syntaxing? So I'm asking them what their comprehension of the word syntaxing is. And if you, the viewer, don't know the answer to that, Check out my syntax playlist. I just want to certify that you and I are talking about the same thing. Thank you. I want to make sure we're on the same plane, on the same level. And we definitely could do that if that individual hot streak would contact me at my email address. Again, another comment from hot streak. And they say, for the excellence of this video is with the teaching by the teacher. Is this construction correct? And I Kuliana, my Kuliana is the positional sequencing is correct, which it is. For the facts of the facts are with the facts by the facts. However, there are particles of negation in your facts and there could be more details added to show who the authority of the sentence is. If you are a beginner, well done. Indeed, well done, Hot Streak, well done. A very good first effort. So... What I mean by adding more details, well, first of all, let's take care of the particles of negation. Obviously, a vowel in front of a consonant means no. The prefix ex means no, so excellence is no contract. ing at the end of teaching is a particle of negation. It's a gerund modifier. That means no. So what the individual is doing is giving a very general statement. There's no authority to it, really in the sense that he's uh, or he or she is sharing, the cause of the sentence is excellence. What's the excellence concerned with? The video. Singular is, what's possessing the video? The teaching. And who's the authority of the teaching? The teacher. Again, a very general statement, nothing wrong with it except for the particles of negation. Now, if you wanted to add more details to that hot streak, make it your own, so that you're the authority of it, you could say something like, for the claimant's knowledge of the facts, is with this claim of the joyment, with the view of this video, with the tutorship of the teacher, comma, Jason F. and Matthew Cole on glass, with this conveyance by this claimant, comma, space, hot streak period. You say something like that. So that way you're the authority and the cause of the sentence. Hope that helps. And as I said, this individual left a lot of comments in a very short period of time. And they say, you mentioned in the video that a contract was settled by your forensic syntax analysis. For example, was it an offer to contract by a debt collector? Or in general, can this method be successful with various debt collectors? I meant you analyzing documents for correct sentence structure as syntaxing. Is that use of the word incorrect? Okay, they're answering my question. I appreciate you teaching the rules of correct grammar and syntax. DWM and RJG videos were not educational enough and meant for teaching, but yours are. I do have to disagree with you, Hot Streak, that uh, 
DWM and RJG videos are not educate are not meant for teaching because they are meant for teaching. They give the how. They don't give all the how, but they give the how, but they don't give the why, and that's the void that I try and fill. I appreciate your sentiment. <clears throat> so they do have a good grasp of um, what I mean by correct sentence structure syntaxing. However, in an overarching sense, syntaxing just basically means how words work together to create meaning and make sense. And with correct sentence structure, with the 567, 5672, 567, 567, 567 uh, structure, there's closure to every piece of that. There is no modification in it. But when you get into fiction, adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, you get into the ones, the twos, the threes, the fours, the eights, and the nines. Now you're in the world of modification. Now you're showing the modification inherent in the grammar, modification, changes modification, modification is perjury, blah, 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 blah. So uh, they ask, was it an offer to contract by a debt collector? Well, actually, it was not a correct contract if it's written in adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. So therefore, I commandeered that vessel and uh, created a document contract, Pulse Vessel Court Venue, and the fiction went on vacation. And that's all I'll say about that. Next comment comes from Soul Piano Studio with Joe. And Soul Piano Studio with Joe says, Is there a space after for the when it is not given as a colon? Yes, there is. Well, Soul Piano Studio with Joe, I applaud your expert grasp of the obvious. You are correct. However, in using colon mechanics it's a completely different mechanic than if you're just using words because there's a reason the colon is there if you don't want to use colons don't use colons it's a lot easier to comprehend a correct sentence structure if you don't use colons but for me using colons is for the brevity it's for the ease of communication. It's easier, in my mind, to cognize a punctuated name when it's in a sentence than to write out for the Jason Hyphen Matthew of the glass. It just kind of convolutes it a little bit more. So I'm all about simplifying and distilling it down. Now, three or four years ago, I published a video giving closure on what I call the quantum grammar shorthand where you can write out an entire sentence using colons if you follow the specific positional sequencing and that is contingent upon the spacing before and after the colons in the sentence so that you can use those four positionals correctly and then include a lodial with them so that you can write out a whole sentence just using colons and facts. But Soul Piano Studio with Joe, you're more than welcome to study my videos and learn that for yourself if you feel squarely, if you want to invest the time and energy in doing that. Or you can contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen and I'll set up a 15, uh, 10 to 15 minute video consult and you can ask me whatever you want and apply for a workshop. Thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from Angela Ocon. And they say, Mu gastaria tener una tradición el español. And then I said, Puedes aprenderlo en inglés y luego tradu... Oh, I can't pronounce that word. Traducirlo tú mismo. I think. I don't know. Uh, I don't know Spanish all that well. Just a smattering of it. I used to speak it a little bit better. Uh, when I lived in Arizona for almost a decade, and I was basically, I had to learn it on the fly, but I haven't spoken it in a long time. So what they're basically asking is um, the same thing, the same comment basically that I talked about at the beginning. Uh, if you want to learn this, I don't know any Spanish teachers. Um, you're going to have to learn it from an English speaking teacher. If you yourself speak English, learn it that way and then you yourself can translate it.
And we got another one from Hot Streak, and they say, is there a reason for the capitalization of the sentence? And I said, for the yes. And then they said, does capitalization or sentence or underlining of words and facts matter? And then I said, for the yes. Now, again, please keep in mind the context of these answers. This is an individual that's come fresh onto the scene. They're full of fervor and enthusiasm. I don't want to diminish that in any way, shape, or form. However, I'm not in a position to stay on here all day answering questions in a comments field. That's why I've invested thousands of hours in the 500 or so videos on this channel, Hot Streak, so that you can do the work. I'm definitely not on this channel to spoon feed anyone. However, I've left the soup out for you. You can feed yourself. If you want to, if you want me to feed you, you have to contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen and apply for a workshop, bottom line. And also, I do multiple videos addressing casing of letters and capitalization. Feel free to search that out. Thanks for the comment, Hot Street. And again, another one from Hot Street. They say, I am going through many of your videos. I do have one last question, sir. Do compound facts have to be underlined? I've seen it on David Wynn Miller's site and also you underlining a few times under contract law doesn't underling, doesn't underling, just like boxing brackets, italicized and remove words from the page. Again, hot streak. I've done multiple videos on the bottom line, i.e. underline and why I use it. Please take the time to search that out on your own and get your closer on it. I will address it here again, even though it's, I could say it's ad nauseum because over the years I've had a lot of uh, common law folks and stuff say, oh, you can't underline it. It's just like using brackets and stuff. That is not true. That is in some venues and domains in the fiction. That's the way they look at it. But you see, the fiction is different than correct sentence structure. Correct sentence structure, the author is the authority. Not some fiction styles manual. So with correct sentence structure, the way I use the underline, and from my knowledge, the way Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller use the underline, in which he did share with me during the last year of his life during one of our conversations on the phone, underlining words that are joined together with facts that are joined together with other facts, i.e. compound facts, you can underline that. And also, I use it to underline names like colon Jason knife and Matthew colon glass or just Jason knife and Matthew colon glass. I underline that. So that's to be taken as a whole when it's put in a sentence. So it does not disrupt the positional sequencing. But again, what I'm saying here, I, I'm not sure that hot streak will uh, be able to fully cognize it as they are a beginner and they don't know correct sentence structure yet. Hot streak wants you actually maybe you know settle down and, and start studying this stuff this stuff will gradually become clearer to you as the authority of your construct and also hot streak uh, since you've left so many comments would you mind sharing your correct name so that you and i can be on a geometric level playing field of communication you know my correct name you know what i look like i just ask the same consideration from you so this next bit isn't a comment, but it's something I pulled off of Facebook on a public post. So I'm not violating any confidentiality or anything like that. It was on a public post uh, with privacy settings set to public. And it says, look at this. I just got a violation of community standards by Facebook for a post back in July. You think they're looking for something to take my account down? I think so. And when they do it, I'm going to be a part of that class action lawsuit, get some of the damages they've caused to my reputation, my account, my dot, 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 dot. You know everything Facebook has access to, personal information. Not that I've ever given consent for that. Not in the real way they've stolen from anyone. Let's stop right there, ladies and gentlemen. This individual is saying that They've never 
he's saying that they've not given Facebook consent to that information. That is not true. If that individual is using Facebook, they gave Facebook inf uh, permission to use all that. They agreed to it by clicking the agree button. If they didn't read the contract, if they didn't read the contract terms and privacy conditions, that's their fault. Yes, they did give Facebook permission by clicking that button and using the platform. Yes, they did. They gave consent. A lot of people don't want to hear that. If you don't want Facebook to use your personal information, don't use Facebook. Don't sign up. Don't click agree. It's that Simple. I don't understand what people don't get about that. And to join a class action lawsuit, I can guarantee you it's going to fail. Simply because it's going to come down to one question. Did you read the terms and conditions of Facebook? It doesn't matter what the answer to that question is, because then the next question is, did you manually click the agree button? And if it's yes, boom, case over. So, yeah, there's no stealing going on here. Is no stealing. If you're using Facebook, you agreed. Period, end of story. Now, some of you may remember a video, a sort of a reaction video that I did where I challenged an artificial intelligence entity named Leah to see if it would understand correct sentence structure. This came as an email and it was not marked confidential. So therefore it's not confidential and I can use it on here, even though I'm not credentialing who it was that sent it. I get emails like this every once in a while and it says AI will kill all life on earth. Once it get launch codes, Earth is done, just like old Earth pre-Atlantis and Mars. Take mana with a clean die. You can astral plane out into space, meet God, and know all, and know and see things before they happen. Christ to Peter, you will deny me three times before the rooster crows. Oh my goodness. This is an individual... There is so much assumption presumption in this sentence. As in, how would anybody know what old earth is? How would know, what is Atlantis? Um, how can you certify Mars? What is astral planning out into space? What is God? And then, to top it off, that at the bottom... They attribute a quote from an adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun book that with my position is the single greatest psychological operation ever perpetrated upon mankind, the single greatest control mechanism perpetrated upon mankind. And this comment is one more piece in the continuance of the evidence of my claim of that. This person has bought into it hook line and sinker because i'll bet you dollars to donuts i'll bet the house i'll bet everything that i can bet this isn't this individual cannot certify any of what they just said and the way to extricate yourself from this mental condition of state from this psyop is to begin learning correct sentence structure and to certify to yourself what a fact is this is a candle. I can certify this candle to you. In many ways, shapes, or forms, I can certify it to you using many techniques. Can you certify what Mars is the same way you can certify this? Can you certify Atlantis the same way you can certify this? Or astral plane the same way? Or God the same way? Or Christ the same way? Just saying. Well, that was fun. Thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. And as I said at the beginning, if you saw your comment up here or your email or your Facebook post, please don't take it personally. I'm not meaning anything personal. I'm using this as a knowledge cultivation tool 
to hopefully get some people to think, to have a light bulb go off in their heads so that they start to think, wow, you know what? I have been participating with a load of presumptions and assumptions and I'm not comfortable with that because I want to participate with the facts. Maybe I should learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, so I can see things, I can sense things as they are, rather than make guesses and opinions as to how I'd like them to be. I guess that's the best way I can put it. Again, if you want to do a workshop with me, if you want to apply for a workshop, email me at the address at the bottom of your screen. I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation where you can ask me whatever you want to. Uh, there's also memberships. You can click the join button. There are two tiers of membership. Second tier membership, the loyalist contributors has access to uh, content not available to the public. And that's about it. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.